I'm so excited for you to meet my girls, Sonali and Turi Palmway from the Girls Opportunity Alliance, who are two insanely inspiring students from India and Namibia. They face challenges getting an education even before COVID-19, and their resilience this past year is nothing short of remarkable. We also have someone else pretty special with us too, my forever first lady, Michelle Obama. Um, as always, she's been a champion for education and she started the Girls Opportunity Alliance at the Obama Foundation to empower adolescent girls to learn because real talk, our whole world would be better if they were educated. Hi everyone. I'm very happy to be here and thank you so much for giving me a such a big opportunity. I'm from Kolkata, India. I'm in class 10 at school. We live in a small room with my mom, my father, my brother Ashutosh, and my cat. What has school been like during COVID-19? Our school was closed all year and they did not contact us and we did no study. I don't know how can I keep learning at all. And some people don't have enough money to get their phone recharge and to practice online. You also got support from Her Future Coalition, right? During, for education? Yes, Her Future Coalition um, uh, sponsored my tu tutoring and they gave us a computer to for our library. And if they did not support me, I, I maybe lost my whole year. And Lily, we have talked about this so much. So many of the challenges that face uh, young girls around the world as they're trying to get an education. So when we're in this time of lockdown, and you know, I know that there are kids in, in, in the U.S. that you know, where parents are worried, what's going to happen to them? How are they, they continuing to learn at home? Uh, with uh, them no longer having access to their classrooms and their teachers. The same thing is true for these young women in India and in Africa, except the challenge becomes, will these schools ever open up again? And that's one of the reasons why these girls' stories are so important. There's so many obstacles, especially with the pandemic, which is why I'm, I'm so truly glad from the bottom of my heart that you have these local organizations and the Girls Opportunity Alliance supporting girls just like this. Educating girls benefits the entire world in so many different ways. It does not just positively impact girls. It will have a ripple effect and then affect communities and countries and the world. And two is that boys, men are definitely part of the conversation. Sonali's oh. got her finger up. So she's yeah, got Sonali, it. go she's for it. Question. Please, we'd love to hear from you. Actually, I think girls are almost like magic and they have mm. good sense that combines mind and heart and then mm. they can help to fix planet. It's true, you know, women, girls, we, we provide a special something in the world. Um, you know, a unique combination of intellect and nurturing and warmth uh, and compassion. Not to say that men and boys don't have that too, but we all, you know, are put on this earth for something special in life. Right. And if we don't invest in the specialness in all of us, in all of our children, you know, we're, we're missing out on half the value that, you know, is out there in the world. So Sonali, I think you made, I think that was an amazing point that you made. <laughs> I like to say that let's all say, say yes to girls more often they're in their life and mm. they they need to hear this and don't let discourage other other people well sonali and turi palmway i'm so proud of you you are articulate poised and uh gracious individuals your communities and your families should be incredibly proud let us remember that there are millions of young women like you out there uh, and let's find them and let's continue to lift them up and give them opportunities to use their voice for change. Go girls! <laughs>